Welcome back everybody. We're gonna try a dime hunt today. I don't quite often don't bother even trying to record these. Really we're looking for silver or bust and uh, because there's just not a whole lot else. There's a couple low mintages. You know if we could find a 1970 that'd be kind of cool but otherwise we're really looking just for this silver. Now I did go through these so instead of a box I got a bag the other day from TD and so I can see you know some of these plastic rolls. I uh, can't Where's the one that I saw the other day? Yeah, so one right there. You can see we've got at least one foreign in here. And there seems to be a lot of nickel. Like there's a lot of off-color dimes through this. So I'm kind of hoping... Oh, actually, I think we've got another foreign right there. Uh, so there, you know, there may be some finds here for sure. So something to talk about anyway. And hopefully we find some silver. I didn't see anything jump out at me that was definitely silver. But there was a couple questionable ones as I was digging through looking at some of these... Um, these clear plastic rolls here. So let's give it a shot. And this will probably be the beginning of another box series. So if we don't find a whole lot in here, then I will just marry it with another box. All right, let's get at it. We are on the second bundle. I've done one whole bundle and found really nothing. Uh, some US over here. And then I'm just starting on this one. I think I've done one already. And I just pulled this one out and I started opening it up. And as I did, I was looking at the ender and I don't even know what that is. Um, definitely not a Canadian dime. So yeah, so we've got something here. Some kind of foreign coin for sure. Let's just see what that is. Oh, no, I lost it. Oh no, there it is right there on top. So we have 2011. Can't really read the writing on it. Five Fenning? Maybe you guys know. I'm not familiar with this coin. I've never seen one before. That's a, uh, a nice find. One I've never run into. Um, we might have a silver here. I don't know if you guys can see that. It is right there. Yeah. We have our first silver find, a mackerel. Well, that's kind of cool. So these are 50% silver, or, you know, they're actually either 50 or 80%, but most people kind of consider them as 50% because they're almost impossible to detect unless you have a machine to tell you whether you've got the 80% or 50% version of it. So the assumption is typically that these are 50%, but I'll take that all day. 50% silver and a foreign fine out of that. So we've got a hunt, boys and girls. Uh, that's uh, kind of... Oh, hey, look. <laughs> There's another one here. Wow, what a roll. 1963. It's got some black tarnish on there. Young head. Silver as well. That's two in one roll. That's awesome. Two silver and whatever this foreign is. So... Great start to the hunt there. Let's set those up and we'll bring you back in if I find something else. So we are on the last roll of that bundle that I went through that I found these two. And by the way, this is an 80% silver for those that aren't aware. Uh, the other ones are 50%. And I'm just dumping this out and you can see right there, it looks like we've got another silver. Uh, let's just see what we've got here. It is getting this to focus properly. 1968. So these are 50%. I double checked that. I'm you know I'm almost positive that's silver, but uh, so if it doesn't stick to a magnet, all right, good. We know it's silver. Great. That's uh, I don't remember. I think I think the most I've ever found is two in a in a box. This is kind of a box. It was five bundles anyway. That makes three so far. So that's awesome. Let's just dump this out and see if there's anything more in here. I didn't even finish dumping it, so... Uh, oh, look at that. There's another one right there. So we have definitely broke our record. 1961. 
Uh, that's a good sign. Although these are all, you know, bundles from different areas. So these other bundles are, may not have much to do with what uh, this one did. But I uh, had a lot of older 1970s and 80s dimes in a lot of these rolls. Uh, so, you know, nothing that I wanted to keep. But, um, yeah, it was, it was, you know, encouraging. I was finding some older uh, dimes in there, but nothing, uh, nothing worthwhile. So, yeah, that's two silver, uh, four all total. Plus that foreign coin, so we got uh, two 50 percenters and two 80 percenters there. So. so we're on roll 16 or so here. I just thought I'd bring you in on this one. Uh, no fines. I did take a magnet to all these because they are so discolored. Uh, and they were all in the 80s when I started looking through the dates. Uh, they looked to be all kind of 1970s, 1980s. And I thought, well, I don't want to miss a silver in here because it's, you're certainly not going to tell by the color. No idea what's happened to these, but that whole roll was uh, was all like this. So anyway, I'll stuff them back in, and I just thought I would bring you in and show you what I ran across. All right, so we're on the second last bundle here, and I am two, four, six, so three rolls in. And I thought I would just bring you in on this one just because I can see that there is at least something interesting in here. This is one of the ones that had the foreign coin, plus a couple U.S. coins, Thought I'd bring you in as I open this up. Let's just see what this one is. Uh, I believe I've seen some of these things. Yeah, it is the, uh, what are they? It's a five pence uh, from, uh, yeah, five pence from the United Kingdom. Just kind of what I thought it was, but uh, thought I'd bring you in for it anyway. A couple US here. Might as well pull these out, take a look. I've uh, got a decent collection of US over there already, uh, but nothing too exciting. 1969. Uh, oops, got my camera down here. 1989P. All right, we are done. So I think I will make this into a video. It'll probably end up being a little bit short. But uh, yeah, it was nice. We got some finds here. We got a couple 80% silvers, a 1961 and a 1963. And then we also got the 1968 and a 1967. Uh, as I said, this could be 80%, but really hard to tell without a machine, and I don't have one, so just consider those 50%. We got a couple forms here. I didn't bring in on this one. You know, it's the same as the other one, and uh, just a little bit older and grungier. Uh, we also got some US coin, so I pulled all those out. It's about $4.50 worth of US there. Went through them, uh, not too carefully, but certainly just looking to see if there's anything that jumped out at me for varieties. There wasn't really anything in there. They're all really modern uh, dimes, and none of them were in really great shape anyway. And then the last was the uh, that other foreign coin. So I did take a closer look at it on the microscope, and you can see there, this is actually a from Bosnia-Herzegovina. So that's uh, kind of cool. I've never run into one of these before. It's got an interesting design there, that pyramid with all the stars. 2011, and I don't know which side is the obverse and which side is the reverse, but uh, yeah, five fenning, feninga, feninga. Anyway, that's it. Uh, we had a nice little hunt here, and we'll keep it nice and short. Uh, I always forget to do this, so I'm going to bring my coin little um, container here for all the silver I found so far this year, and we'll just dump those in. Uh, I do have a couple extra quarters in there that I got the other day on the live stream with North Central Coins and Mario Brothers. Uh, so yeah, starting to pile up there. Got a decent amount of silver. Uh, hopefully be able to upgrade that uh, coin container soon. So all right. Thank you very much for coming along, everybody. Please like and subscribe. You all guys have a great day and take care.